people, welcome back to the J Taylor channel and today we've got another episode of Mercedes Benzema. Now, we've got some rivals gameplay, as you can see above in the title, we are conquering Division 1. Now, I, we got to Division 1 a couple episodes ago, but I've just been posting Foot Champs gameplay, especially because it's been Team of the Year, trying my best to get some Team of the Year's in packs and whatnot, but... Going into our first game of rivals, he's got Mbappe, Lewandowski, Militao, Rio, Casillas, Coutinho. He's got a decent team, but yeah, as I was saying, we've been trying to get into a, the elite division for a while now, and I've had a tough time being able to record rivals. I think I got into Div 1 and I was just like, rivals gameplay, it was just too easy to record because there wasn't really many challenges and stuff. I was winning games so easily that like you're gonna see today. Like there's not really much competition in rivals until you get to like elite where you're challenging for top 200 and whatnot. And as you can see, there's simple pass into the box, finish at the near post, and we we'll make it one nil. And I think this guy pretty much gave up after that first goal. Like, look straight away in after scoring. I think a lot of people have like stopped caring about rivals since those objectives came out but yeah literally make it 2-0 here and I think that's game done for the first game and it's like it was just it wasn't really any point but because I got to elite this episode is like I decided to put in some gameplay here which was good content it was good content because we finally got to elite into our next game he's got signature signings Jimenez Van Persie you got a decent team there a few decent players but didn't really provide any issues for me this game as well but like I was saying it was just good content to put out because it's not all the time I can put foot champs gameplay onto the channel because it pretty much means I'll be limiting myself to one, one video a week pretty much as you can see there, nice bit of play from George Best, make it 1-0. He does come back quite quick with a chance off the counter-attack it was. Got the ball to, to him and it's in the box. And he had a 1-1 one -on -one and just finished it. But like I was saying, I want to be putting out all sorts of content for you guys. And um, yeah, this video is also going to be a bit of a series update as well. So I wouldn't say necessarily that this is the end of Mercedes Benzema. As Benzema just scored again. But I would say I want to put this series on hold because I want to try out some different players and I feel like basing a series off one player makes it hard to get other players involved. Another great strike there from Jonathan Bamba. He's been decent for me recently but I feel like it's tough because if your series is based off of one player, your marquee player, and it's a striker or something, he always has to be in your team. And there's not much you can do attacking wise. Like recently I packed Cristiano Ronaldo who is about to score for me here but it's like I can't really fit Ronaldo and Benzema into my team because it doesn't work unless I'm playing them both up top or I'm playing Benzema in the 10 and it's like I really want to include a lot more a lot more a lot more yeah a lot more players into the thing into my ultimate team and there's so many players I want to use like I want to eventually be able to use Mbappe without having to keep Benzema and other players in the squad uh, going into our third game of the episode again, he's got a nice team, a Serie A league arm mix up there with Pele. But yeah, like I found, I'm starting to like. Like Benzema's always gonna be doing his thing for me regardless. I don't know. How, yeah, that there, I don't know how that was in the pen, cause that's ridiculous. He's like clobbered me, taking me out, and I got mad, so I just whipped it, bins, like straight after. But yeah, as. Like, Benzema's still doing the madness even in this video. Like, Benzema done the madness to get me to elite. Like, Benzema is probably the best player I've ever used on FIFA. But, honestly, I feel like I want to add some variety to my channel. Like, all you see pretty much is flashback Benzema, flashback Benzema, 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 Benzema. Like, I want to add different series. Different FIFA series, different FIFA episodes, different, different stuff based around FIFA and other games onto this channel like in March WWE comes out I might try and play that I might do a GM mode I might try and get my boy AG involved I'll put all his links in the description 
but yeah i just want to mix it up fifa wise um because just doing mercedes benzema videos yeah it's good but i need something new you know and I feel like there's a lot of ideas i have but because i'm so focused on the benzema series i feel like i'm limiting myself way too much and as you can see from that game there we managed to I think this is the game that took us to elite that five nil win where I best scored a hat trick. I can't remember. But yeah, it's it's like I'm kind of putting myself in a position where if I'm recording a FIFA video, Benzema has to be included somewhere. And I feel like I wanna take a break from that until maybe around team of the season time because as it looks, I think Benzema will get a team of the season card. Because he's been tearing up the league up differently, but yeah, like I was saying, this is the game where we got to Elite and whatnot. And we're going to go into our first game in the Elite Division as well. But yeah, I want to try something new in the series, man. And I feel like you guys are always going to be able to give me ideas, always going to be able to suggest things. Because if I don't see stuff in the comments, I'm not going to change it. And I feel like... The fans hold the key to a lot of what I do, like, this guy in this game has got a very good team as well, nice, decent squad he's got together in the Elite Division, but yeah, like, you guys will always have such a, a huge part in whatever I do, because it's what, you, I'm not going to put out stuff just for myself, like, it's always going to be about what the viewers want to see, and if the viewers don't want to see something, then I can't really just decide that, yeah, it's my channel, I'm going to post whatever the hell I want to post. I'm going to post content that I think the viewers like. like for someone like myself who hasn't got a lot of subscribers, it's not getting a lot of views. Like The series has done well, it's done its thing, Like it's managed to get decent amounts of views and I'm happy with that. But I feel like I'm not going to be able to branch out and read a wider community, especially in the FIFA community, because there's a lot of people who don't want to just see the same thing over and over again in the FIFA community. A lot of people want to see challenges, a lot of people want to see pack openings, a lot of people want to see there's so much that the people in the FIFA community want to see and I feel like it's time for me to just like change it up a bit maybe but yeah this episode was just pretty much me conquering Dev 1 this game was easy considering it was in the elite division uh, it got to 5 not at one point where I was just like yeah I'm not gonna bore you lot with all these boring goals that I scored and I'm just gonna wait for you to get to the rage quit and then open my rewards from Thursday, obviously, Div Rival rewards. But yeah, rambling on a bit, but um, obviously, literally, into our rewards now, dead player pick from Rivals. But yeah, obviously, I've been sent back to Div 2 now because of the season update and whatnot, but I just feel like it's key to get you guys' opinion. So, like, obviously... I'm always going to want the feedback from you guys, obviously, you guys see the videos on TikTok, you guys see the videos on YouTube, you guys see, like, what I'm posting on TikTok as well was, like, more, like, the, the funny side of me, like, more my personality a bit. Uh, big pack here, we managed to get Goretzka from it, his team of the honourable mentions, if only this pack was tradable, that's, like, 450k right there, if this pack was tradable, man, when I saw the pack was untradable, I was so upset, like, I just paused for so long. But yeah, so first pack we managed to get Goretzka from it. Um, so yeah, the rewards were decent from uh, Elite. You know, packed Goretzka first pack. I think second pack was a bit of a stinker. I think that's gonna come up soon. I was taking long to like kind of process the packs because I was trying to make it. I was making a TikTok video for the packs at the same time, and then into the second pack. Now the second pack is needy. It's absolutely needy. Right. This pack stunk. I didn't even leave it to open. I just skipped it. And I was even making a TikTok as well. And I was just like, yeah, no. So, yeah, like, like I said, you guys see the TikTok. You guys see the videos on here as well. Like, You guys are starting to see more of my personality as well. But like, once I'm able to like get the camera and get a new PC and whatnot, you will start to see a lot more of what I'm like while I'm playing FIFA instead of just hearing my voice and stuff but yeah man third and final pack about to open it now this is all pre-recorded gameplay all the commentaries recorded after but yeah and imagine this in an update video about Benzema 
we packed Benzema's highest rated card in the game right now. And it's like, you couldn't write this at all. But, honestly, let me know what you guys think. I think this series is going to go on hold for a bit regardless. And I'm always going to go back to you lot for content ideas and all that. Because without you guys, there is no J-Tiro. Without you guys, I don't hit certain milestones on TikTok and YouTube. But that's all for me for today, you guys. So if you guys know this video, make sure to smash the like button. Leave a comment down below and do not forget to subscribe if you are brand new to the channel. It's been your boy JTRO. Comment down below what you want me to do next on the channel. And I'll see you lot on the next one. Have a good day. Peace.